Hi, Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. Today, I am going to talk about a topic I rarely cover in these types of learning videos, and that is how to get more out of your decor or more out of your theme. And this is something that, you know, on a good day, I do this. And on a bad day, I kind of forget about it. So I'll be giving you some examples of a bad day <laughs> where I didn't think about how we could incorporate this better, but you'll learn from my experience. This, this uh, idea really comes from a course that I took several years ago now. I apologize if my energy's down. I, I'm doing this video on a Sunday. Usually I do it on a Tuesday. Uh, we kind of like an idea pops into my head for a video. I crank out a video, crank out the editing. We throw it up on YouTube. My team kind of like pulls together a newsletter and we, we send that out. But I'm trying to get this done on a Sunday. And I had a big auction last night. My voice is weak and my energy is down, but we'll, we'll get through this. <clears throat> uh, so a few years ago, I took a course on speak to sell. So like if you are speaking on the stage and you want to get people fired up so that they turn around at the end of your talk and run to the back and sign up for all of your workshops or books or buy whatever it is that you have to buy, then how do you do that? What's the process? And what the instructor had talked about doing, pardon me, I'm going to get a sip here. What she had talked about doing is making sure that you stop a few minutes early and that you give everybody in the room something that they can fill out right then in order to buy whatever it is you have to buy. So if you hand out envelopes to everybody at registration, inside that envelope, you would want to have the order form of whatever you're offering and a pen. You know, you need to have whatever they need to sign up. So there is no, nothing that prevents them from buying right then. And she gave an example of where her and her husband had been at a, I don't know if it was a Tony Robbins seminar, but something like that. And at the end of the talk, her, her husband was all fired up to sign up for like this $20,000 program. And everybody's rushing around at the back and they got these forms, but he couldn't find a pen to sign up. And she was less interested in signing up for the course. And she knew that if she could just get her husband away from this vibe and this environment, and if they could go to lunch and sit down, that he'd forget all about it. <laughs> and so he's like, do you have a pen? And she's like, no, I don't have a pen. And so oh, let's go to lunch and it'll slow down here. And then when we come back later, they'll be, you know, they'll be able to have opportunity to sign up. Well, they just never followed up, right? The moment is gone. And of course, we know that a lot in auctions too, right? Sometimes if you try to sell something that you have an opportunity to sell multiples of later, it doesn't go over as well. In that moment, we can sell multiples. But later, when you try to sell that same vacation again and again and again, not so popular. It's about capturing people at the moment of impact. Okay. So capturing people at the moment of impact, that, that idea of you know, stopping a few minutes early before you end your talk in order to walk people through. Friends, I know that some of you are going to want to continue this conversation. You've been excited by what you've heard today. I want to give you some options on how to do that. If you reach inside your registration packet, you're going to find an order form there. If you liked what I talked about with regards to X, check this box. Use the pen in the envelope. Literally walking people through the process. Now, let's use that in your auction. So recently, I was working an event, and they had a really colorful theme. It was all built around kaleidoscopes. And it was about the future, future, of the focus future, uh, bringing our future into focus. That was the theme. And so they had these kaleidoscopes that were on each chair. So, you know, table of 10, 10 different kaleidoscopes down there. And we didn't really use, the, it, you know, the whole room, everything was very kaleidoscopy, but we didn't really, we didn't really mention the kaleidoscopes. And I could have done this. Any, any of the speakers could have done this, but I could have done this. I don't know. I just didn't think of it. I was, I guess I was having an off night. And so what we could have said is we could have said at one point, friends, you know, Think of all of the changes that this organization has been with, 
been through over the last 20 years. Think of the changes, the advances that we've made in the last two years during the global pandemic when we didn't even expect. One thing that we've learned is like a kaleidoscope. In fact, why don't we all pick up our kaleidoscopes here? You know, each one of you are looking through the kaleidoscope and it has a different look. But yet, isn't it interesting that all the colors are the same? We're all, you know, able to, to generate the same beautiful pictures. And that's where we see our organization going. You know, you tie in using the language that you want to tie in, but you, you bring that decor piece into the theme and really explain it and expand upon it. Kind of like a good preacher would on a Sunday, right? They've got one thing and then they just riff off of that one thing for a long time and you're walk out, you walk out of there and all you'd be thinking is kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope, kaleidoscope all day long or butterfly, 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 or, you know, <laughs> whatever it is. That bar stool story he told, you know, you just remember that sort of stuff. Another example, better job was done at this, this uh, event, although we could have, we could have even expanded upon it more. Uh, but at that one, it was called the um, Unmask Gala. Shoot, I don't have the I don't have the information on that one. Let me see here. Do I have that? Let me look. Hang on. The No Mask Masquerade. <laughs> at the No Mask Masquerade, they had these, and I'm looking at my phone because I'm looking at a photo from this event. I will put this up into the video too, so you get a better idea of it. But they had a little flip, <clears throat> they had a little flip um, tent card and inside the tent card was a story of a scholarship winner. And they, they um, when they, when we were talking about this, they, they had an MC and I did mention, and the MC did talk about, he says, hey, on your, on your table at some time tonight, you might want to read about this scholarship winner and the story that's on that table, right? And if that was fine. I think we just could have taken that a next step further. Say, you know, folks, for those of you that are that are most forward facing me, in the middle of your table is a tent card that has a mask on it. Could you pick that up, please? You know, literally tell them what to do. Pick that up right now. If you flip that open, you can show it to your, your other table mates here. That photo represents a scholarship winner that we've supported in the past. And right there is their story telling where they are right now. And after you read that, I'm sure you're going to want to pass that around so everybody can, right? Then it's in their hand. <laughs> it's in their hand versus gesturing to it versus walking them through. Take the registration envelope that was handed out to you. Reach inside. You're going to find a green piece of paper. Now reach inside, there's a pen down in there. If you liked what I had to say about X and want more information, check the first box. It's this box right here. You know, you spell it out for people to get the most mileage out of it. So for, for your decor element, if you're using one, you know, not everybody does, but if, you, if you've got something like that, or you've got some story that you're drawing attention to, it's taking that extra time on the stage, carving that out. Don't just assume people will figure it out. They won't. Take that extra time to say, you probably noticed on your table that there was this blah, and then talk them through it. Or maybe you saw when you walked in that we had an uh, and then you talk through it. But really making sure that it's it's in their hands and they're able to experience it to get more mileage out of, out of your theme, out of your decor, out of the language that you're trying to inspire people with that night. Okay, so I'll just leave you with that. My name is Sherry Truler with Red Apple Auctions. If you enjoyed this video and the others, please like, share, comment, whatever the case might be. Uh, and <clears throat> for other information on auctions, you can head over to redappleauctions.com. Lots of information over there, as well as free resources for you to get started on your best gala yet. Yeah, as always, good luck to you in your fundraising gala.